Hey everybody, we are finally getting around to having a look at my latest blood test results. And I had them done just under a month ago. I had a full panel blood work done with uh, Mike from Balance My Hormones, who is my provider of testosterone replacement therapy. So I know I did tell you guys on the channel that maybe we'll be doing a sort of live chat with Mike to discuss the results, but unfortunately him and I haven't been able to sort of match our calendars and uh, find a date where we can both be free at the same time. So we're still gonna try to do that in the future, but I thought I would get to the results just because I have been promising them and I have had a brief chat with Mike about them. So um, just so that I can have an idea of what is going on with them. So today I'm gonna take you through the results. Uh, there's a few items to go through and of course the main ones being the testosterone results. But um, as you'll see when I show you the results now, there's a couple of entries that are highlighted in red, right? And the reason they're highlighted in red is because sometimes they fall a little bit uh, below or a little bit above the lab's normal ranges. Now, if you're a bit neurotic like I am, then when you see something like this, you might freak out and be like, oh my God, red means bad. And I've had a chat with uh, Mike, uh, who, who's, who's discussed the results with the doctor too. And they have, they have assured me that there's nothing to be alarmed about in these test results. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the entries um, and we'll discuss one or two of them that are highlighted in red, but just so that you are also aware uh, what they've told me is that sometimes, you know, just because an item is highlighted in red doesn't mean it's danger or the end of the world. Sometimes these results can fluctuate depending on when you have the lab work done. And if there was anything here that looked uh, bad, they would have told me and we would have gone and had more tests done for them. But luckily they weren't. So now that I've got that out the way, let's get to the results. Um, Okay, so we'll start with the first page, right? On the first page, uh, there's quite a lot going on here. I'll put it up over there so you can see what I'm talking about. But there are a few items marked in red. Uh, some of them are slightly below, you know, the normal range and, su and some of them are s uh, one or two points above the normal range. But there's nothing really too... Uh, too uh, bad or, or, or uh, anything to worry about or to be concerned about of these results. So um, I'm not going to go through any of them because a lot of them I, um, I'm not even too sure about myself and I haven't had a full discussion with them, uh, with the doctor about that. But the ones I do want to personally talk about is, and you'll see that up on the screen too, is number one, cholesterol. Now, if you look at my cholesterol, it looks fine. It's, uh, uh, it's on five. And if you look at the optimum, is below five. Now, I've been assured that this is okay, not to stress about it, for, but for me, it's a personal thing because uh, I am very health conscious and uh, I do try and work on being as healthy as possible. And cholesterol was one thing I was expecting to come back really low especially considering that I'm vegan, right? So I've, I've been cutting out all the sort of higher cholesterol foods and things like that, and now it comes back this high. So for me, that was just a sort of point of slight concern and uh, one that's gonna have to make me look at my diet and evaluate it a, a little bit more. I was assured by Mike that there are genetic factors and my mother's told me that also we had, do have sort of a high cholesterol uh, genetically in the family, but I would still like to get that down. So that's something I'm gonna personally work on. Then another one I saw that was a bit uh, of a concern for me was the high iron, which you'll see. And you see the normal range is 10 to 28 and mine was 34. And this is quite unusual because a lot of the time people who go vegan usually have a problem with too little iron. And I seem to be having a little bit too much. Now, I suspect the reason that this is occurring is because I, uh, during that period before I had my lab, my lab work done, these blood results, I was eating a ton of beans, you know, all the different beans. I stocked up on canned beans and had, you know, I was adding beans to everything because I was worried about things like, you know, iron and that. And maybe I just got a bit too carried away, but I have since toned down the amount of beans that I eat since then. So I think the next time we get blood or lab work done, it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, what goes on there. I'm sure it'll drop, but we'll, I will keep an eye on that type of stuff. So. Let's move on to the interesting stuff and ultimately the reason why you guys are here to see what's going on with my hormones. So I'm gonna flick over to page two and I'll put that up on the screen over here too. I'll put it somewhere that you guys can see it sort of uh, clearly and predominantly. So as you can see in the endocrinology section of this blood work, 
Um, there is a few things going on. You can, I'll let you have a look at the results quickly and just g glance over them. But the first one I want to cover is that my thyroid stimulating hormone seems to be a little bit above normal. Now, I'm not too sure about why that is and what the implications are. I've done a little bit of brief research, but I'm not going to cover it now. It is something we'll be monitoring. I don't know if there's anything you can do about that, but I, I will find out once I have a proper in-depth chat with the doctor about it. But uh, let's move on to the stuff that you are here for, and that is the, uh, the t testosterone. So as you can see, my testosterone is highlighted in red. Danger, danger. When I saw this, I thought, oh my God, I felt guilty. What's going on? And then I had a look and it was, it's 35.3. And you see the lab's normal range is 7.6 to 31.4. So I'm above what the lab's normal range is. So first I panicked, but then I had a look on the Nibido testosterone tool to see where that fits into the ranges of sort of low, average, and normal, that type of stuff. And I'll put that Nibido tool up on the screen quickly. Now what I'm talking about, and as you can see, if you type 35.3 mol into the tool and the calculator, you'll see that I come up sort of like in the top quarter of the normal range. So we're nowhere above the normal range. We're still within the normal range. So there really wasn't anything to be too concerned with over there. Um, if you take 35.3 nmol and you convert it into nanograms per deciliter, it's about 1,000, 1,017. So it's a nice range, right? I wasn't expecting to be this high, but uh, I was. And um, if we go back to the results, which I'll put back on the screen now, you'll see that my free testosterone is actually 0 0.757. And if you look at the, the lab's range for that, that's within the range, right? It's, the, the range is 0 0.3 to 1, and I'm 0 0.75. So it's, it's, it's pretty decent. Um, we're not going sort of outside of that range in any way whatsoever. So I had a chat with Mike about this. I said, you know, are things you know, too high that? And he said, not to worry, things are great. These are good levels to be at. Just keep doing what you're doing and you know, stick with this. Now, so I was happy to hear that. Um, and one thing we did see, which you'll also see on the screen, is the estradiol was slightly high. Now, if you look, the estradiol was 165 and ultimately you, it should be less than 192. So it does fall less than 192. So it's, so it's not too bad, but Mike says this is fairly high and it is something to monitor right so he said uh we should just monitor my estradiol if i have any sort of side effects or symptoms of high estrogen you know if you get any sort of gyno or man boobs or any sort of emotional changes or things like that then we can look into it get retested you know with a bit more of an accurate test to see if there is actually a problem there but for now it's nothing to worry about um and we're just going to monitor it and there's no need for a an aromatase inhibitor either at this point so we we'll keep an eye on it for future and if we notice sort of anything that becomes a bit more alarming or concerning then we'll take action on that so I just wanted to discuss quickly why maybe my testosterone levels were slightly higher um, and, the, and what sort of testosterone dosage I'm on at the moment uh, that got me to these readings. So I take, uh, my prescription is for 125 milligrams every five to seven days, right? Now, sometimes I do 250 milligrams over 10 to 14 days, and sometimes I'll do the 125 over five to seven days. But the reason um, uh, I'm apprehensive of splitting it is because we've been advised that if you only use half of the testosterone, let's say it comes in a 250 uh, milligram uh, vial or ampule, and you only have to do 125, we've been advised to toss the other half away now. So I find that a little bit wasteful. And so on the odd occasion that I have only used half and tossed the other half, I've probably taken a little bit more, about 150 milligrams, just because I feel bad that I'm wasting you know, something that I've paid for. So I'm leaning more towards doing 250 milligrams over 10 to 14 days now, just because I don't waste any. But you know, if budget is going well uh, and uh, and I feel like you know uh, I don't feel bad about wasting something I, I might you know uh, switch back and forth between doing 125 milligrams every five to seven days uh, rather than 250 milligrams every 10 to 14 days so yeah still feel great I haven't noticed any side effects uh, I am monitoring it training's going well mood is going good everything seems to be going well so the Really, uh, nothing more to say about this. Um, 
So there you have it, there you have the results. I will be doing uh, blood work again in a couple months time again, just to see how things are going. Uh, and as always, I'll keep you posted. So if you have any feedback about this, if you, if you have any sort of commentary on some of the results that you saw and you wanna give your feedback, uh, I'll be happy to, to listen to it. Yeah, just leave a comment and let me know what you think. Um, but it's good to know that hormones seem to be on track now. Uh, and I'm quite happy with that. And the doctor and Mike are happy with that. So that's where I'm going to leave it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video and stay strong.